question that comes mm -hmm. up all the time. What's your opinion on Sunday during Lent? And and, our, and keeping the fast, it, Sunday, as we know, is a, always a feast of the resurrection. So does Sunday really count if, I'm, if I've given up my Hershey bars or Hershey Kisses for Lent? Do I eat Hershey Kisses on Sunday, or do I just wait and really devour that chocolate? I, I believe you can. And, and I do think, though, that it's peculiarly English, and I'll tell you why. You know, I, I collect all sorts of books. I have more books than I can keep up with, and one of the books I have is a little Roman Missal. It's in Latin and in English, and it was printed for use in England, and it was printed in the 1950s, so this is before the, the changes that came with Vatican II. And, and in there, there are rules about fasting, what days are fast days, what days are feast days, and it says that specifically in England... The Lenten fast is dispensed on Sunday, but only in England. Why that is, I'm not sure, but it, it seems that huh. we inherited that from the church before the Reformation and that it has continued to be a peculiarly English thing. And I've even known folks who are, say, descended from Italian Roman Catholics who would say, oh, you, you Episcopalians keep a wimpy Lent, you know, you take Sunday off. And then I've met people from England who said, who were Roman Catholics, said, oh, we always, we always broke the Lenten fast on Sunday. Yeah. And I said on Sunday because it was a damp, miserable climate. I love England, but damp and miserable is not unfair. Right. And, and the people needed a little protein, so they get out in the fields and work Monday through Friday. They, they needed just a little lift up there. So I think so. I think so. But, but some of that may also be selfish and self-serving. I'm, <laughs> I'm willing to admit that. I, I didn't give up sweets this year for Lent. You didn't. Bless you, Father. <laughs>